How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing all right. I'll be Gavin, my name is Gavin Roberts. I'll be here today. All right. And can you verify your name and date of birth for me? Uh, my name is Jessica Halford, 9 20 1993. Awesome. So, what seems to bring you in today? Looks like some abdominal pain. Some abdominal pain? Yeah. Can you verify where it is real quick? Like, it's just kind of, there's no real, it's just like all over. Okay. All right. Just all over. Yeah. Well, at this point in time, I would take the patient's vital signs, but for Brady's sake, I'm just going to go ahead and skip that and go right to the abdominal exam. So, pretty much, do you mind just lying on down for me? Sure. And unfortunately, since we don't have any gowns today, I'm going to have to ask you to sort of lift up your shirt to wherever you feel comfortable. And then, as far as you feel comfortable. And then before I do anything, before I touch any part, I'm going to just inspect the abdomen. I'm going to look for abdominal symmetry. I'm also going to get down. Can you cough for me real quick? <coughs> At that point, I would look to see the contour of the abdomen. I also see if there's any umbilical hernias, any uh, inflammation there as well. And then at the same point, I would also look at the skin to see if there are any rashes, lesions, anything like that. Since she is pretty thin, I would try and find, see if I could see the aortic pulsations at this point. I don't see anything, which is a good sign, because that would indicate maybe a possible AAA, but sometimes you can see it in thin people. And then I would also look to see if I could see any peristaltic waves going throughout the abdomen. All right. At this point, I'm going to start listening to your stomach. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to warm up the stethoscope real quick. Don't want to get in on you being all cold and whatnot. Thank you. I'm always cold. <laughs> Tell me about it. It's a curse. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to start down the right lower quadrant, do an in, the bam, bam. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to listen. And I'm going to listen down here. Got normal sounds. I'm going to listen up here. All right. And since I'm in the right upper quadrant, I'm going to go ahead and ask you to breathe in for me. All right. And at that point, I was listening for any venous hums or friction rubs of the liver. All right. And I'm going to ask you to breathe in again for me. And with that, I was listening for any uh, venous hums or friction rubs of the spleen. All right. And then I'm going to listen to your aorta and all your other arteries down there, okay? Okay. So far. All right, I'm not hearing anything there. Listen to the left renal artery, right renal artery. All right, listen to the iliac artery and the other iliac artery. All right, and so far things seems to be normal. And at this point, I am going to percuss. And yeah, pretty much what that means, I'm just gonna tap on you. Okay. Okay. But on that, the I'm gonna make sure I use the proper method. I'm gonna stick out the middle finger, make sure I hit the distal interphalangeal joint with the middle finger of my other hand, and I'm gonna start down in the right lower quadrant. All right, everything's good there. Good there. And right here, I'd be listening for the difference between the tympani of the hepatic plexure of the colon and the dullness of the liver. All right, everything seems to sound normal. All right, and now I'm just going to estimate your liver size, okay? Okay. Okay. And pretty much at this point, I would go above the nipple line to do that, but you know, for since we don't have any gowns, I'm not going to go that high. Thank you. And I'm, I am going to start down the belly button and go on up to look for that inferior border. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry, that tickle. Sorry about that. All right. And then I would percuss up here and go down. And then I would estimate it to be around 6 to 12 centimeters for the liver. If it's any bigger, then it'd be kind of abnormal to get that checked out. All right. And then at this point, I'm going to go to the lowest intercostal margin. And I'm going to ask the patient to breathe in. Do you mind breathing in for me? No. All right. And since there is tympani all throughout there, that rules out splenomegaly, so I don't have to worry about that. And I'm now going to test for shifting dullness to see if there's any ascites. You don't look like you have ascites, but you know we're going to do it anyways. All right. So now I would start in the middle. 
I should hear timpani here because there's that air bubble that comes up. And then I'll look, go on down, percuss all the way down until I got to a border where I should hear the difference from timpani, the shift from timpani to dullness. I'll mark that area, then have the patient go on her side. You don't have to do this. Go with the, have the patient go on her side, and if there's any change in that border, like if timpani is heard in areas where I did not hear beforehand, then that would be a positive for shifting dullness. Okay? And now I am going to palpate, okay? Okay. I'm going to start with light palpation, and I'm going to go to deep palpation. And sorry, my hands are moving cold. I hope you don't mind. It's okay. Okay. So you am going to start down the right lower quadrant again, looking for any masses that have that may be there. Up here. So far, there's nothing there, nothing really that I'm worried about. And now, I'm gonna do some deep palpation, okay? Okay. All right. So I'm gonna go about two, three centimeters in. If you feel any pain, just let me know and I'll stop, okay? Okay. Okay. At this point, I could also test for, did you eat recently, by the way? No. Okay, I just, I could get to where you can feel the gas. I haven't eaten in like a day. Okay. But with that, I can also test for rebound tenderness. You gotta leave this open for that. I can also test for rebound tenderness. Feel anything? No. Any pain? Okay. If she would have felt pain coming up, that would have been positive rebound tenderness. All right. And again, let me know if you feel any pain. And if she felt pain over here in her right lower quadrant while I was doing this, that would be a positive Robson sign, which means it would be indicative of appendicitis. Now, do you mind if I peel your liver? It's gonna, I'm gonna have to go up under your ribcage, okay? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna brace you right here, and I'm gonna push, okay? Okay. And on three, one, two, three. Right. And so far, the liver feels pretty normal. It's soft and smooth, with and it's well demarcated. Now I'm gonna feel for your spleen, okay? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Normally, you would not be able to feel it, but she is pretty thin, so we might be able to feel it. All right, you ready? Okay. Okay, on three, one, two, three. Inhale for me, and exhale. All right, and I don't feel anything. Okay, there we go. And under that, I'm also gonna measure the aortic width. Okay, and I'm gonna push down until I feel pulsations. I can feel them on yeah. your hands. Yeah, I know, I feel it. <laughs> you got a strong pulse right there, and it's no, it's no bigger than three centimeters. So we're good. All right, and on top of that, I think we've topped everything we need to do. We need to do. Now we're gonna go on to some special tests. First off, I'm gonna do the Murphy sign to see if she has cholecystitis. I don't think you have cholecystitis. We're just gonna do it, you know, just so you, it's a learning opportunity. Okay. All right, you mind exhaling real quick for me? All right, you're gonna push, okay? Up under we go, and then inhale. And if she expressed pain, you feel any pain? Yeah, okay. If she expressed pain on that, that'd be a positive Murphy sign, which means she would be positive for cholecystitis. And then, now on to the other test. We're gonna go ahead and we've already tested for Rosen sign, already tested for Murphy sign. Now we gotta do these lovely leg tests down here to test for appendicitis. All right, do you mind lifting up your leg for me? All right, there we go. What I was testing for there was the psoas sign. Pretty much I was giving a little bit of light resistance against her leg while she was lifting, extending her, flexing her thigh. And since she did not exhibit any pain, that's a negative sign. And real quick, can you actually flex your thigh for me again? There we go. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. All right, and for the obturator sign, I'm gonna turn her knee in immediately. And if she exhibits pain, that'd be a positive obturator sign. Feel any pain? Okay. Okay. All right. And other than that, I believe we hit everything, but is there anything else that you think I need to hit on, Jay? I don't think so. Okay. All right. Well, that will conclude the exam. It was lovely having you in here. Thank you very much.